words yung Alam bakit mo, bakit maganda uh, talaga yung maganda kanya, kasi nito pare-pareho kayo lumalaki kung ikaw ay entrepreneur no nagsimula ka ng negosyo naging successful ka yung prototype mo at the same time fin-franchise mo na yan merong mga taong gustong kumuha ng franchise mo sila nag invest sila nagpapatakbo so in other words yung brand mo lumalaki na lumalaki yung Juan de la Cruz hindi lang Juan de la Cruz dito sa Pasay mm-hmm. Juan de la Cruz do sa Baguio Juan de la Cruz sa Cebu iba-iba na kumakalat na okay at the same time, eto mga taong to hindi empleyado. Mm-hmm. Siya ay partners sila, mo, yes. sila nag invest yes. Now, ang responsibility, ang advantage naman sa franchisee, ikaw ay pinapasa mo naman as an entrepreneur, the franchisor, mm-hmm. pinapasa mo yung knowledge, pinapasa mo yung expertise ng product mo, pinapasa mo yung lahat ng support. No? Mm-hmm. In other words, parang buong pamilya yan. Okay. No? okay. So, uh, hindi yung uh, bahala ka dyan, no uh-huh. Because we grow as a big family, we support each other. No? Kaya nga sinabing franchise, maganda ang franchise kasi kung talagang matunay na tunay na franchise yan, nagsasama-sama yan sa laki at hirap-hirap. No? At uh, alam mo, hindi lang, hindi lang Pilipinas. Eh, no? Ngayon, the world is, has no boundaries at all. No? Yes, Global na. Yes, eh, no? yes. So, para bang kung ikaw ay isang entrepreneur ngayon, ano bang iniisip mo? Um, gusto mo lumaki? Uh, you can do it by your own, putting mm. up your own branch. Mm-mm. Pero alam mo, maubusan ka rin eh. Yes. Ang parati kong sinasabi, toxic. No? Kasi nakalimang branch ka na. Alam mo, sa aking experience ngayon, pag limang branches ka na, toxic na toxic na yan. Mm. Na words, wow, anong gagawin ko ngayon? Mm. Imagine mm. mo, anda, uh, para bang, manage. Oh, parang isipin mo, kung ikaw McDonald's, 38,000 uh, branches worldwide. Natutulog ka ngayon, merong gising ng mga branches mo. Para bang mahirap i-control. Yes. Yes. Whereas if you have a franchisee with dynamic personality at commitment, alam mo, lalaki kayo eh. Yes. And yes. I, I've seen this, this with my uh, own eyes. I've uh, assisted many entrepreneurs who started from nothing actually and now grown very, very... Welcome to the Leopreneur Insights, where you learn the secrets of starting and growing your business the Filipino style. Because while it's good to learn from your own mistakes, it's better to learn from other people's mistakes and discover their blueprint to success. And now, your host, a certified Leopreneur himself, Jerry Elow. Hello mga Lipreneurs, welcome to another session of Lipreneur Insights. This is Jerry Ilao, the founder of Lipreneur. And this is Lipreneur Insights, our weekly Facebook live program where we invite successful entrepreneurs to share their lessons about business. This afternoon, we will talk about ano nga ba, how do you choose the right franchise for you? Okay, and our special guest this afternoon, hindi, uh, we have no other than the Philippines Franchise Guru. And actually, siya yung nag-develop ng franchise offering ni Namang Inasal, Potato Corner, Julie's Bake Shop, Baliwag Lechon, yan, for Gelato, etc. Mga big names in the industry. So, please help me welcome um, the Philippines Franchise Guru and also one of my mentors, Sir Boots. Bartolome. Singapore. Sir Boots, thank Hi, you so good much. Afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Bati kayo, Sir Boots. Ah, I'm so w- overwhelmed. <laughs> Ang dami pala nanonood dito from S, uh, Singapore, from Dubai, uh, from all over. Huh? Congratulations. <laughs> at uh, I'm so proud of Jerry talaga. Uh, helping a lot of... Uh, people who want to become entrepreneurs. Alam mo, yan ang talagang sagot ngayon eh, no? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, uh, yan. I'm so glad I'm guest. I'm guesting in this uh, prestigious episode. <laughs> anong, anong episode na ito? 68 e- Episode 68. Yeah, okay. we're so honored, Sir Boots. Uh, kasi, yun, I know na maraming, ano, maraming mga members ng Lipinor are really who are really considering to go into franchise. And yes, I'm sure, yes. yun, magagaydan natin sila oh, this afternoon. Oh. So, um, well, sa akin, alam mo, ako, ako, I also took the leap, eh. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ako, so, I also took the leap, no? I mean, uh, I came from uh, an overseas assignment. I used to be with Shakey's International. I was, I used to be uh, Asia-Pacific uh, 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 manager in charge of operations, training, setup, and selling franchise, no? Different countries, no? So, I was based in Singapore, and then from there on, I moved to Middle East. 
where I covered Dubai, Bahrain, uh, Jeddah. Shakey's eh, din po. Shakey's yun, no? So, after some time pala, talagang nari-reach me yung point na hanggang saan ka na ba? Ano bang you want to leap or you want to stay? Uh, uh, dalawa eh. Uh, dalawa yung uh, <laughs> nagiging, uh, nagiging point, no? It's either you stay or you stay until you're dead or you, you go and leap and try to become an entrepreneur. And I did, I did take the leap, no? Uh, it's so difficult in the beginning, but uh, as you go along, uh, alam mo sa mga natutunan ko eh, 25 years na itong business wow. to. And really, I will not exchange it for anything. No? Mm-hmm. In other words, taking the leap mm-hmm. takes a lot of risk, but you also benefit from it. No? Mm-hmm. Yan ang nangyari. So, mm-hmm. I specialize on where I'm I'm really good at, and that's uh, yung, yung core is franchising. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yun ang naging uh, focus ko dito. Oh, okay. To say, you cannot be a man for everybody. Yes, Mahirap tama. Eh. Oh, tama po. So, ganun. When you say franchising, Sir Boots, siguro mm-hmm. dun sa mga, ano, ah, uh, um, yun, b- bago about franchising. Ano ano po bang, ano, anong ibig sabihin ng franchising? Alam mo, ang franchising talaga eh, meron kang negosyo, pero hindi ka nag-iisa. In other words, eto ikaw, pero eh, gusto mo mag-negosyo, pero may nakasandal sa yung isang big brother. Okay. No, in other words, uh, ang sinasabi natin eh, mahirap kasi pag nag-iisa eh, maraming trial and error. Yan ang yes. naranasan yes. ko eh, no? In other words, the first five years are very critical. Talagang mm-hmm. very critical. Uh, iiyak ka ng dugo dyan. <laughs> Talagang uh, gusto mo na bumalik as an employee. <laughs> you know, yung mga ganun ba? Yung bang, yes. Tatawagin mo na lahat. No? Lahat. Uh, talagang kapit. Talagang kapit patalim. Ika nga. No? But again, ang franchising gives you the the effort of being comfortable in doing business. So, kung di-define mo yan, yan ay being business for yourself but not by yourself. Oh, okay? okay. Ito yung... Uh, Ito yung isang franchisor na naging isang entrepreneur na nagnegosyo din Mm-mm. na naging successful na kasandal ka doon. Okay. So okay. parang unti-unti lumalaki ka. Okay. No kasi there is what you call I always repeat this eh, synergistic relationship. Mm. Meron kayong samahan. Yes. yes. And uh, the franchisor is there to help you. Okay. grow the business okay. in your own locality. Yun. Yes. So yan, isang magandang advantage talaga ng franchise uh, franchise business kung sakaling entrepreneur ka, yan mas mabilis mapapalaki yung negosyo. Kasi more people uh, yung mga franchisee mo, they will be the one to invest yung financial resources nila, di ba? Tapos they will be the one to manage it. Kasi syempre kung uh, spread all over the Philippines ka, mahirap mag-manage ng negosyo. So yan yung advantage sa isang franchisor. Sa isang franchisee naman, yung sinasabi natin Sir Boots na tested na business model no? yes. kumbaga working business model siya so kumbaga yung trial and error um, ma, ano na, mas konti na, tapos may isa kang parang mentor kasi syempre partnership siya right. so yung franchisor mo will help you uh, will help the business uh, be, become successful kasi syempre brand niya yun diba? pangalan niya yun tsaka maganda dyan um lumalago kayo eh. Kasi, even yung franchisee, nagkakaroon ng suggestion uh, para sasabihin sa'yo, oh, Jerry, baka gusto ko, alam mo, pwede natin gawin to. Para bang nagkakaroon ka ng mga ah, magagandang partners, yes. no? Kasi, yes. alam mo, ang isang example ko parati, yung Big Mac eh, na McDonald's. Yes. Yan uh-huh. eh, hindi created ng uh, original McDonald's eh. Yan eh, generation ng, from a franchisee. Ah, Kasi yung franchisee, okay. nasa mining town. Okay. No? At uh, yung franchisee, observant siya. Alam mo, yan ang isang criteria. Observant ka, tinitignan mo yung needs ng mga kliyente mo. Nakikita niya, yung mga minero, yung mga mining, uh, ano, na tuwing lulutang daw ng, uh, ng lupa. Uh, ng lupa. <laughs> 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 hindi ba kasi mga mining, yes, mga miners, di ba? Mga weeks and weeks, uh-huh. no? So whenever they resurrect, okay, they would go and buy two hamburgers. Pinagpapatong yan. So nakita niya pinagpapatong. So sabi niya sa McDonald's head office, pwede ba ako mag-experiment? Okay? So sabi ng McDonald's, ayun maganda. Pumapayag ang head office. So pumayag ang head office, sabi niya, sige, tutulungan ka namin. Pinagpatong niya ang dalawang patties, nilagyan niya isang tinapay, nilagyan niya ng lettuce at tomato, uh-huh. bingo. Big Mac. Galing. Okay, so... And one of the, siguro, bestsellers ngayon. Na, yeah, yan ano, ang bestsellers. Yeah. No? I mean, sa atin din, di ba? Nag-adjust uh-huh. na rin McDonald's. Uh, nagkaroon ng chicken, nagkaroon yes. ng Burger McDo, di ba? Uh-huh. So, ganun ang franchising, no? Yung bang, kung ano naayon sa yung lugar, pwede mong i-adapt. Huwag mo lang makakalimot dun sa core business. Yes. Yun ang ano doon. 
Nice. Uh, sabi ni Sir Lives, hi Sir Boots and Sir Jerry. Si Dan, uh, sabi niya, hi uh, Sir Jerry, share this my, with my GF. Sure. Pa-share naman po ng uh, yeah. broadcast natin ngayon para more people will be able to watch this. Okay? Si Jay is also from Taiwan. Hi Jay, si Bright. Uh, one of the best mentors. Yeah, oh, si Mushroom Burger. Yeah, si Bright. Mushroom. <laughs> Tapos si Tosh. Uh, hi Tosh. Yan, from Singapore. Si Arfi is also here. Yan, hi Arfi. Tapos si Richard. Yan, kumusta Richard? Yan, so please share this page. Okay, para naman uh, more people will be able to watch this. Okay, and if you have questions uh, kay Sir Boots, yan, please feel free to comment para masagot niya. Okay? Now Sir Boots, um, yung isang ano natin, uh, difficulty siguro ng isang, ano, isang aspiring entrepreneur is choosing the right franchise. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Kasi, syempre, madaming, madaming franchise offerings dyan sa market. So, ano ba tingin mo? How, how, where do they start and how do they choose the right franchise? For sa them? akin kasi, uh, the way you start, no, pag namimili ka ng franchise, eh, huwag mo isipin muna yung figure, yung amount. Okay. Kasi, na, 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 na ano eh, you're being pulled down, no? You're being pulled down because, ay, mahal. Negative na agad yun. Okay. Uh, ang parati ko sinasabi, ano ba yung gustong gusto mo na sabi nga natin, eh, trip na trip mo ba? Mm-hmm. Yung bang uh, pagkain, uh, services, mm-hmm. uh, pagtuturo ba? Ano yung gustong gusto mo muna? Yung, yung mindset mo na... Kasi sa akin, uh, pag ninegosyo kasi Jerry is, you must be fun. You don't think of work as work as uh, something na parusa. No? Oh, yung bang, tama, tama. ay, lunis na naman. You know, ganon. Uh, ang parati ko sinasabi is try to make sure you will enjoy it for the rest of the time. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, yan. Number one. So, marami ngayon pagpipilian. Uh, it's not really the amount but more on the potential. No? Okay. Kasi okay. ano ba yung potential? No? Parang sinasabi ko nga, pag may potential na mga negosyo, yung mga sunrise industry, mm-hmm. eh, look at it. Pinagpapawisan no? ako oh. sa boots. Ang ganda discussion natin. Pinagpapawisan sa discussion. <laughs> Punas mo na ako. <laughs> yung Sige, sa so sun, ating, sunrise. yung mga sunrise industry, no? Kasi, parang sinabi nung araw, uh, ang dami na yan. So, okay. pag marami na marami na yan, ano ba yung USP niyan? Mm-hmm. Unique selling proposition, no? Kasi nga, sa dami-dami ngayon, ngayon, nakikita ko ngayon, ang dami-dami nagbebenta ng mga, uh, ano mo yun, mga fried chicken, fried chicken, yes. di ba? Yung mga iba, yes. mga fries, fries, yes. no? So, saan na natatangi, no? At the same time, saan mo yung location? Kasi sa akin, yung location, very yeah. important. Eh. Yeah. Uh, ilalagay mo ba yun sa location na where you're a member of a community? Kasi sa akin, uh, kagaya ng uh, Julie's Bake Shop, no? mm-hmm. uh, pandisalan yan. So, ilalagay mo yan sa location na ikaw ay kilala. Hindi yung malayo. Kasi, alam mo yan, sa panahon natin ngayon, kung malayo ka, ba, nakatira ka sa Nubaliches, yeah. lalagay mo sa alabang yung, yung negosyo, Eh, pagdating mo lang doon, eh, traffic na. Pag uwi mo lang, traffic na. Di ba? Yung bang saan? Tsaka marami mga locations ngayon na titignan natin, like mga eh, condominiums, no? Yung mga yung mga lo- lo- locations yes, ngayon. Yes. Hindi na nasa mall, eh. Uh, you can put it in where, uh, alam mo, mga malls, mga condominiums ngayon, they have this coffee shop, mga tutorial yes. shop. Tsaka daming needs ng condominium, no? So, uh, Parang when, isang self-sufficient na siya, Sir Butz. It's no? a community. It's a community <laughs> by itself, no? Kaya nga sa akin, pag nagtatanong iba, ano ba ang magandang franchise? So, ang una-una, tinitingnan ko muna anong personality mo. Okay? Ano ba yung financial uh, capacity mo? Uh, the third is, are you willing to risk uh, losing a business? no Kasi there's no sure sure fire yes, talaga sa yes. negosyo. Uh, the same time, investigate before investing yung franchise. Or, mm. uh, kasi hindi yung porke nakita mo sa jario nakita mo sa online, uh, you have to investigate as well the franchise. Or, and also talk with the franchisee. Mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. Uh, mabuti na yung tinatanong mo, uh, kasi hindi naman popular dito, but at least, ano ba yung mag-engage mo? How do franchisees of this franchisor feel about the support? Yes. Uh, yes. At the same time, is the franchisor credible? Mm-hmm. Importante, importante yung credibility. Kasi, no doubt, nandiyan yung franchise niya. Pero ano ba yung credibility niya? Ano ba yung character niya? No? So, sa akin, uh, hindi yung instant, hindi yung mura, uh, hindi yung 50,000, hindi yung... Uh, kasi kailangan-kailangan ko na agad gawin yung pera ko, kailangan-kailangan ko na lumago yung pera ko. Pag-aralan nyo muna, kasi long term ito eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the same time, uh, try to ask your, your family or your mm-hmm. friends, no? Are you willing to be... Are, are they willing to help you out? Mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. you know, there are times na when you start growing your business, ang franchise naman kasi hindi ka nagsisimula sa isa eh. Mm-hmm. 
pag magandang maganda yan mga anak mga anak yan no na mag- yeah. multiple yan no yeah. so uh, ang magiging ano niyan is are you willing to cross the bridge are you going to leap mm-hmm. kunyari nag-employee ka ngayon uh, ikaw ay kukuha ng franchise pumotok ang franchise ngayon so maglalagay ka pa na isang branch ngayon yes. are you willing to resign from your job because that will be a crossroad uh, the crossroad wherein you will say uh, I think I have to resign but if you say I want to enjoy my life pa eh, as mm-hmm. an employee yes. so be it mm-hmm. make a decision mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's yes. a that's a leap that you really uh, have to create oh, yeah yun. galing so um, yun ang mga sinabi ni Sir Boots very important when choosing the right franchise dapat yun gusto natin di ba passionate ka kasi iba pa rin yung gusto mo talaga yung business yes. um, tapos um, look for uh, sinasabi niya sunrise di ba industries yung mga malalaki pa yung potential hindi yung very saturated na kasi syempre kung saturated niya yan, mas mahirap mas mahirap mag- magbenta and also um, very important na sinasabi sabi ni Sir Boots is investigate before investing. ba? Kailangan uh, makilala natin yung franchise offering, yung kung sino yung franchisor, ba? And talk to mga franchises nila, yes. existing franchises. Okay? So, yan, very important. Um, mm-hmm. Si Ronald, sabi niya, Lipinor the best. <laughs> Salamat, Ronald. Si Turn, si Kint, uh, from Jeddah is watching. Si Alex, from Naga. Hi, kababayan. Kamusta, <laughs> Alex? Tapos si Romer, from Saturn. Uy, saan kaya yun? Saturn. Saan Saturn? Saan ang Saturn, ano, Romer? Romer. Hindi naman yan yung <laughs> ibang <planet>. lineta. <laughs> Tapos si Kint, yan, Jeddah. Si Dave, sabi, Sir Boots, available pa daw ba yung book nyo sa Dubai? Alam mo, may iniwan ako mga libro doon sa Dubai eh. Uh, kila Cherry, Cherry Murillo at saka kila Francis uh, Medina. Uh, email nyo lang ako, baka meron pa sila. Al- alam ko, meron pa. But kung wala, let me know. Okay. Yeah. So, again, share this ano, share this uh, broadcast natin para more people will be able to watch this. And sabi ko nga, this is Lipinor Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So, if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipinor Insights, kung hindi nyo pakilala si Libot, ayun, uh, type lang kayo ng insights in the comment section. Okay, type kayo ng insights in the comment section so we'll be able to notify you 30 minutes before we do Lipinor Insights. Okay? Um, Sir Boots, yung ano, um, when, when we talk about, ano, and also pala, makakalimutan, if you have questions uh, kay Sir Boots, yun, feel free to, ano, to comment para masagot niya. Uh, Sir Boots, yung isang, ano din, uh, characteristic siguro ng isang, ano, good franchise. May mga mm-hmm. sinabi ka na, na, ano, pag, ano ba yung tingin mo very important na dalawa o tatlong bagay na, tingin na isang ano kumbaga to guide them na is, itong isa isa karakteristik ng isang good franchise alam mo yung uh, number one sa akin karakteristik kar- eh yung bang they grow by quality not by quantity uh, sa akin kasi hindi ako naniniwala yung paramihan eh marami ka nga marami pero marami kang binubuksan marami ka rin sinasara yeah. para bang yung, yeah. yung 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 lumalaki ka pero yung yung air di ba ilalim mo nawawala no <laughs> para bang you're up in the air di ba para bang, hindi hindi ako naniniwala doon eh para bang wow lulutang mm. ito um, hindi para miyan but yung quality pangalawa yung sustainability yung uh, yung support ng uh, franchisor alam mo sa akin yeah. madaling kumuha ng franchise makit madaling pumirma Pero yung support thereafter eh. Kasi yeah. kawawa yung franchisee kung hindi mo susuportan. Dahil ito eh, parang, parang ano eh, learning how to walk. So you have to be patient, you have to train them. Yung pa isa, uh, be willing to train. Kasi mm-hmm. a good franchisor will make you train. Not only yeah. once, but continuous yan. No? Hindi yan uh, after one month. Mm-hmm. Katapos nun, bye-bye yes. na. No? Yes. Uh, ito yung uh, every quarter, meron training. Tapos may mga performance Continuous check pa yan. improvement po. Quality no? check. Okay. So, minsan, kung ikaw yung franchisee, sasabihin mo, ang kulit naman tong franchisor nito, parati akong tinitrain. Mm. Parati training, quality, quality. Mm. Because the franchisor wants you to grow well. Yes. Okay. Wants you to train well. Yes. No? Uh, McDonald's nga, meron tayong ano eh, meron tayong Oak Brook University. You know? Meron pa mga university yan. No? So, yung good franchisor will always be listening to you will always listen to your suggestions but will also criticize you for the sake of performing well no? mm. so uh, at the same time hindi niya isa sacrifice yung quality because 
of whatever cost. No? Alam mo ngayon, sa mga panahon ngayon, tumataas sa mga cost, ang franchise or yeah. challenge ngayon ay how to maintain the cost at the mm-hmm. least expense. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. So, nandyan yan yung research and development. That's mm-hmm. where a good franchisor comes in. No? Hindi lang yung taas ng taas ang cost, kawawa naman yung franchisee, sakal na sakal na, uh, wala ng tubo, mm-hmm. no? Kasi nga, tumataas yung mga bilihin, tumataas lahat, no? Yes. So, pati sweldo. So, ang franchisor, who is good at it, will really tell you, eto yung mga gagawin natin, eto yung mga strategy natin, how to grow. Um, and then, they will always be innovative. A good franchisor is always innovative. He thinks of ways, like for example, hindi naman yung, ang customers ay pupunta lang sa'yo eh. Mm-hmm. A good mm-hmm. franchisor will find a way how to reach out to the franchise to the customers, no? Kaya nga may mga deliveries, yes. may mga online ngayon. Yes. So, um, plus yung mga kanyang backup team, no? The mm-hmm. team that goes around, no? Mm-hmm. To visit the franchisee will always be there, no? Para bang, para bang they, they speak the same language, uh, they tell you exactly how how things should be going, no? So, yun yung mga karakteristik na nakikita ko. Galing, galing. So, uh, recap ko lang. Maraming sinabi, Sir Boots, ang very important. So, recap ko, yung isa sinasabi niya is dapat grow, yung isang franchisor is they are growing not by quantity but quality. Okay? So, hindi paramihan kundi quality branches. Mm-hmm. So, isang indicator yon Tapos, they're looking after the sustainability of the business. Okay? Tapos, um, yun, training, providing training, enabling you. Diba? As a franchisee na to grow. Kasi in the end, when you grow, syempre, lalaki din sila. Tapos, they focus on innovation. Yeah, may R&D, innovation. Mm-hmm. Tapos, they also have that team to to ano to support the business. Kasi minsan, nagsusobrang laki sir boots ng, ng isang mm-hmm. ka, uh, franchisor, hindi na nasusuportahan yung ibang yun ang, yun ang delikado. Uh, franchisee. Oo, kasi nga, yung franchisee at franchisor, parati yung magkakausap eh. Mm-hmm. Pag lumalaki na yung organization mo, uh, parang nawawala na yung franchisor sa kanila. So, nagtatampo yan. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. So, dapat makatch ng, ng grupo yung uh, yung relationship no na ay wala na si ganito ay wala na si ganito hindi na hardly reach yes. no yung bang no you're still part of the organization hindi tayo nagtatampuan dito no para bang you grow together at the same time you keep them updated meron akong mga franchisors na once a week they go on online mm. no in other words the franchisor goes online and all parang ginagawa mo no parang ang ganyan no nakikinig yung mga franchisee at the same time the franchisees uh, share them no? So, imbis na pupunta pa sa bawat town or bawat city, the franchisor gets online, say, at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock yes. in the morning, and then tells everybody, eto yung magiging update. So, everybody moves in the same direction. Ang ganda, ang ganda, ang ganda. Ganun. <laughs> yeah, si um, Jennifer, sabi niya, hi Sir Boots, you have guided us 8 years ago. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ganun katanda na ba? <laughs> Yeah, I'm Jennifer. Tapos si Ma'am Josie is watching. Hi, hi Josie. John, how are you? Yeah, uh, hi Jerry and to our good-looking mentor, Sir Boots. Nakuha. Yeah, si B1. <laughs> Queen, si yeah. Tapos for those of you who want uh, to be notified 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights, um, type lang kayo ng insights. Some people, si Sherwin, si Anthony, uh, yun, are, are typing insights. So thank you so much. Type in insights in the comment section if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights. Okay, tapos kung may questions kay Kisar Boots, yun, please feel free na mag, ano, mag, ano yan, comment. Okay? And also, plug ko lang ulit, um, we will be doing the Certified Lipreneur Award on June 19. So, thank you so much. Um, that's, that's gonna be the first and only um, award given to employees who have become full-fledged entrepreneurs. So we're very excited uh, to have that award, Certified Lipreneur. Can we show the, the sample plaque? Yun, sir, makikita nyo sample plaque in a while. And also, we'd like to thank yung sponsors natin. Uh, si CEO, si Titanium Technologies, Made for You Events, si Amplify, and si Peanut World. Yeah, thank you so much from Josie. Tapos, we also have our silver sponsor, si Manila Pares, um, si uh, First Colonial, si Aquabest, um, para sa Alter Station, Aqua Swiss, 
Cycle House, VA Films, ZNR Travel and Tours, Mother's Best, Saka Urban Farm. If you want to help us, yun, just message me. Uh, yun, we're looking for sponsors who can help that um, event a reality. Okay, so thank you so much to our sponsors. Sir Foots, um, maraming tayong napag-usapan na, ano, na um, about franchising. Pagkatapos, isa din sa aming concern ng ng mga aspiring entrepreneurs, itong mga parang franchise scams. Oh, diba? Yeah, yeah, na minsan mar- oh. maraming nag-o-offer na sobrang mura, mm. pagkatapos after that, pinapabayaan na sila. Alam mo, nakakadugong pag minsan. Eh, no? Yung bang uh, pagbubukas ko ng email, meron dyan mag email na sabi niya, Sir Foots, naloko kami. Sabi ko, parang gano'n, no? I mean, OFW, uh, partner-partner sila, bakas-bakas, no? Opo. Kasi nga, akala nila uh, 60,000, so, itigi ilan lang, no? Yung pala, pagdating doon, eh, walang-walang support. Basta, para bang karton lang binigay sa'yo, bumili ka lang sa palengke ng mga iyong bang produkto. So, eto yung minsan na, sa hangad na natin, na gusto mag- maging negosyante, eh, minsan, nadadapa tayo dahil we are very impulsive, no? Minsan kasi, yan ang sinasabi ko, don't yeah. be rushing. Mm-hmm. Uh, sabi ko nga parati, investigate before investing. Uh, magtanong, no? Kasi nga, nandyan yung Lipreneur, nandyan yung uh, sa akin. Pwede rin mga magtanong, no? L- lalo ngayon, no? The world is has really no boundaries yeah. ngayon, no? So, before you do it, plan it well. At the same time, wag yung rush Kasi nga, marami mga Marami mga nag-online ngayon, locations na murang-mura yung mga franchise, tapos bahala ka sa locations mo. Yeah. Um, you have to really investigate. Kasi marami mga uh, mga scams ngayon, iba-iba. No? They come in different forms. No? Sometimes uh, you don't even know the owner. Yes. Ah, Meron mga scam dyan na uh, sasabihin sa'yo, basta brochure na lang to, papadala ka namin ng brochure. But I always want you to ask, sino ba ang mga taong nasa likod nito? Uh, sino-sino ba? Kung sabihin sa iyo secret, eh talagang secret, no? Eh let it be a secret and walk away, no? So sabi ko, wag niyo ang sanayin, sayangin lalo na mga OFWs po, no? Uh, mag-ingat po kayo, kayo po ang easy target. Yes, yes. Uh, yan sa Singapore, sa Dubai, sa you know, Hong Kong, uh, kayo po yung easy target kasi alam nila naghahanap kayo ng kung saan ilalagak yung inyong pera, no? So uh, nandito lang kami para sa ganun, we can always tell you uh, our opinion no uh, we can also check no nga kung hindi yun sila member ng association isa sa mga titingnan niyo kung hindi sila member dalawa ang association na dapat niyo alamin uh, ito po yung Philippine Franchise Association at saka Association of Filipino Franchisors ito pong dalawang ito ay talagang they self regulate no mm-hmm. at uh, kung hindi sila mahirap po makapasok dito no at uh, kung hindi yun sila member ang una niyong tanong bakit hindi ko kayo member ng association at sasabi nila, well, hindi kami member. So, bakit? So, kung hindi nila masagot yun, eh, yun eh, medyo questionable na sa akin. At the same time, uh, sino, ano ba yung mga documents sa uh, pakita nyo sa amin? Hindi yung, hindi, money down muna, tapos papakita namin. Hindi, before you do any money down, ano yung mga disclosure na pwede nyo pakita? Mm-hmm. Isa hong dapat nyo alamin, wala ho tayong batas sa Pilipinas tungkol sa franchising. Hindi ko gaya ng Singapore, hindi ko gaya ng uh, other countries na regulated. Dito ho, eh, dapat mag-ingat ho lang kayo. No? Maganda ang franchise, madami ho ang franchise ngayon dito sa Pilipinas, pero piliin nyo na mahusay at piliin nyo na ito talagang for the long term. Hindi yung kumuha kayo ng franchise, away na agad. Di ba? Nagpirma agad uh, isa pa, bago kayo pumirma ng any document, you also read it. Okay. Like for yes. example, yung franchise agreement, no? Kahit o anong franchise, whether legitimate siya or what, no? Basta pag nagbasa ko kayo ng franchise agreement, basahin niyo ho yan ng tatlong beses. Huwag ko kayo matakot sa mga terminologies. At the same time, consult a good lawyer who can explain to you the uh, fundamentals, yes. no? Hindi yung, okay na yan, pirmahan na lang. Di ba? Kasi tatayo na tayo, malapit na. Excited na masyadong. Excited, no? Excited. <laughs> yung pala, hindi mo alam, marami kang pinirmahan na nag-agree ka na wala palang suporta. Yes. No? So, yan po ang inyong ingatan. 
Yan. So, yan, ingat po tayo sa mga franchise scams, okay? Uh, Siyempre, pinaghirapan natin yung pera na yan. And make sure, yung sinasabi lagi ni Sir Boots, investigate before uh, investing. Okay? So, check nyo kung member sila ng associations, ng franchise, uh, franchise association. So, merong uh, PFA or kaya AFI. So, yan yung dalawang uh, prominent na franchise associations. And also, yun, isip tayo kung if it's too good to be true, Sir Boots, no? <laughs> yun, most probably yun, delikado yan. Um, kaya, very important na ano. Tapos siguro, yun, in the process of of investigating, yun, you check kung sino yung, ano, sino yung owner, sino yung, ay, kumusta yung mga previous franchises nila, kung naaalagaan. Okay, um, tanong ni Angel, sabi niya, invited ba kami sa Lipreneur Awards? Um, unfortunately, Angel, medyo limited yung space sa uh, Lipreneur Awards. So, yung nandun lang would be the awardees, tapos uh, mga guests, yun. Tapos si Sherwin, sabi niya, had a chance to listen to Sir Boots way back oh, in 2011 yeah, yeah. in Monte Carlo. Yes, Muna hi ko. Sherwin, yes, wow. yes. Wow! Uh, one memorable <laughs> place, no, I met... Uh, interesting entrepreneurs no uh, headed by uh, Hill Concha no so Sherwin thank you ha yon no na ko galing oh galing <laughs> galing ang yayaman nila mga taga Monaco yes yes <laughs> nakamit ka ba doon ng prince ng Monaco or princess oh, or oh eh. mga mayaman sila eh no bili ba ko talaga eh yeah any other comments doon sa ano um eh okay na yeah so yan um and also sir boots um when it comes to ano, let's say nag-investigate na sila, di ba? Mm. Tapos nakita nila na gusto nila yung franchise. Okay, yung uh, reputable yung company, tapos sinusuportahan yung mga franchises. Ano ba yung normal steps ng na pagdadaanan nila when they get the franchise? Kasi karamihan sa kanila parang yon, hindi hindi familiar dun sa proseso. Alam mo yung um, kaya nga yun ang importante. You have to know exactly paano ang franchise nagwo-work, no? Uh, kasi meron mga maraming akala na pag ako nagbukas ng franchise, uh, mga tao pupunta na lang, no? Yung customers, no? Mm-hmm. Hindi, hindi mali yun, no? Uh, kumuha ako ng franchise kasi popular to dapat uh, kumita ako. Hindi rin yun, no? Hindi rin yun uh, ang basis, no? Ang basis noon is, uh, tamang-tama ba yung franchise niyon sa lugar mo? Doon sa target market mo? Kasi baka mamaya high-end yung kinuha mo, eh low-end naman yung yeah. area mo, yeah. no? Uh, masa. No? So, baka yung pricing. Uh, sometimes, I, I notice, no, yung mga ibang pagkakamali ng mga franchisee, gustong-gusto lang nila. Hindi nila tinitignan yung pulso ng bayan. Ano ba yung kaya ng bayan uh, bilhin? Mm-hmm. Yung bang, mm-hmm. eh, gusto ko ito eh. Basta gusto ko ito. Mm-hmm. So, nilagay sa isang lugar. And all of a sudden, di na-realize nila, out of place pala sila. Pala. No? Uh-huh. So, you have to find out. No? You have to do your market study. Kaya nga, ang ginawa ko nung araw ay... Parati kong sinasabi, do your market study. Ano ba yung simple lang naman yun? Sino ba yung mga, mga, ano ba yung mga money magnets dyan? Ano ba yung mga institution? Nandiyan ba yung mga eskwela? Ano ba yung population? Ano yung income nila? no So, eto, tsaka do your traffic count. Alam mo kasi minsan tinatamad tayo mag-traffic count. Let's say, nandito ka sa lugar na ito. Halimbawa, hindi pa nga tinatayo. Magbilang ka ilan ang taong dumadaan, dumadaan. ilan ang coaching dumadaan, ano bang ano ang ano ang habit ng lugar na ito kasi it pays off eh. You have yes. to know your 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 place. Uh, meron ako diyang uh, tinulungan nung araw, uh, nagagalit na sa akin nung araw yung ano, yung tinulungan kong kumuha ng franchise no kasi executive siya ng isang bangko at sabi ko, "Ma'am, gusto niya ng laundry." No? So sabi ko, "You have to count the number of people passing." Sabi niya, Eh, wala pa naman yung place eh. Paano ako ka-count? Uh-huh. Sabi ko, eh, ma'am, you really have to do it. Kasi if you don't know it, eh, baka malugi kayo. So, sabi niya, oh, sige, gagawin ko. Nandun sa kotse niya, nagbibilang siya from 7 in the morning to 9 in the evening. Ha? For two weeks. Uh-huh. Okay? So, inikot niya rin yung lugar niya kung sino-sino yung mga barangay captain, sino-sino yung mga competitor niya, yung mga laundry. Mm. Alam mo, na-realize niya, tama ka pala, bots. Kasi na-realize ko, yung mga competitor ka na may laundry, sabi nila, laundry raw, yung pala laundry di kamay. Okay? Yung iba naman, naka, naka-aircon, bubusan lang ng aircon kung may customer. Okay. Same time, nakilala niya yung barangay captain. Yun lang nga, uh, sinamampalad, after two weeks, nagkasakit yung babae. <laughs> Kasi nga, sa init at sa ulan, init at ulan, di ba? 
Ba't, <laughs> alam mo, ano nangyari, no? Nagkakalyo, <laughs> nagkakalyo para nagtatam, para nagdatitext, no? Pero alam mo, nangyari sa kanya, she, she became one of the top selling na laundry shop. Wow. Kasi she knew exactly what what the market is. Now, some franchisor will not tell you to do your own market study. Pero ang prati kong ina-advise, whether they advise you to do a market study or not, do it yourself. Simple lang yan. No? Know you where you are. Okay. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, pag nakuha mo yung pulso ng, uh, ng community, kuha mo na yan eh. Alam mo na yung, ano yung behavior eh. Yes. At the same time, let's say like weekends, ano ba ang behavior niya? Tsaka sino ba yung mga target market mo? Uh, ito ba yung mga nagpapalaba o hindi? Uh-huh. Di ba? So, uh, ganun yun, ganun yun. So, that, that lady has now about six uh, branches and she's self so happy with it. Wow. So, very important yung market study, Sir Boots. Oo, oh, importante yes. yan. Tapos, um, once they, ano, once, gano'n ba usually ka bilis yung, let's say, o oh, nag-decide ako, tapos, ginawa ko yung fran- uh, market study, mm. tapos nag-decide ako na, gugo ko tong franchise. From that time to the time na mag-open, usually, may usually ano Usually, mga, ano yan, mga three months, no? Mga From the months. time you decide, Uh, kasi may mga construction niya, may training niya, may study niya, no? mm-hmm. uh, may mga documents ka pa. Uh, mga three months usually nakikita ko dyan. No? Okay. Uh, iba naman, two months, no? kasi nga depending on the location. Ang importante ngayon, ang mga challenge ngayon ay location. Yes. Uh, hindi necessarily kumuha ka ng franchise, pero saan ka ba maglo-locate? May mga franchisors na available yung location. No? Yeah. Maswerte yon, Kasi may mga, mga lessors na nag-offer. Pero meron ang iba naman talagang ikaw maghahanap. Ikaw maghahanap. No? Meron namang iba dyan franchisors na sinasabi build, operate, and transfer. Mm-hmm. In other words, yung franchisor na nagtatayo, mm-hmm. okay, yung franchisor na nag-ooperate, mm-hmm. tapos it turn Mag-open over nila. It turn over. No? So, maganda yun. Dahil ako, advantage yun. Yeah. Bakit? Because uh, meron ng market eh. Yes. Napapalago na nila yung market. No? Kesa yes. naman yung ikaw yung magsisimula, heaven knows kung saan. Oo. Uh-huh. No? Uh-huh. So, uh, marami. You have to ask those questions sa franchisor whether meron silang location. Uh, another thing, yung manpower. Mm-hmm. Kasi manpower, uh, may mga franchisors na meron silang mga manpower pooling okay. na they're willing to turn over to you. No? But you na-train have to, you na still, oh, nakatrain oh. na yun. You still have to, ano, you still have to do your own judgment, no? Kung, kung whether yan. to mga tao. Yes. No? Um, alam mo sa akin, mga tao ngayon, mahirap kumuha, no? Lalo yes. na sa sa mga panahon ngayon. No? Kaya nga yung efficiency mm-hmm. is very important. You have to know how many, ano yung least number of people that you need to operate your business. Yun ang importante. Doon. Yes. Ganda, ganda. Um, so, common na tanong sinong in charge sa sa location. So, depende, Sir Boots, no? Oo. May mga ibang franchisor na may available ng location. That's yes. good. Words, good. Pero kung hindi, ikaw maghahanap. Yes. Pag naghanap ka ba, Sir Boots, usually they will also help you assess Ah, yung yung oh, location kung okay o hindi. Alam mo, um, pag nakakita ka ng location, okay? Uh, franchisor nga will verify. Ibabangga nila yung data nila. In other words, may data ka Jerry. Ang franchisor nga will say, okay, titingnan namin kung babagay sa amin, mm-hmm. no? So titingnan din nila yan, no? Pag they will tell you exactly their opinion. So maganda yan eh kasi nag nag nagko-compare kayo ng notes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the franchisor will tell you o oh, baka naman meron pang isang location dito. Um, yun ang yun ang gagawin nila. Yes, ganda. You know? Okay. Um si Jan is watching. Hi Sir Jan Sir Boots watching from SG. Hi Jan. Um yun if you this is Lipreneur Insights again we do this every Monday 12 noon to 1 PM. So if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights, type lang po kayo ng insights in the comment section. Okay, insights. Tanong ni Angel Sir Boots, uh, sabi niya, Sir Boots, pwede po ba kami magpa-consult sa inyo in case na makapag-decide kami someday na mag-franchise or build sure. ng business? Yeah, no problem with that. No problem. Yeah. Later, uh, Angel, uh, Sir Boots will give you a, uh, yun, yung contact details mm. niya. Okay? So, if you have other questions kay Sir Boots, yun, uh, type niya lang. So, yung isang ano ko, Sir Boots, kasi di ba you've, you've um, helped si na Injap, sa yeah, mga Inasal, yeah. uh, Julie's Bake Shop, etc. Mga big names. So, ano yung 
nakikita mong common traits ng isang successful entrepreneur. Kasi alam ko parang nakwento mo dati na nung nakita mo pa lang si India, parang yeah. napulsohan mo na na magiging <laughs> successful siya. Kala mo tuloy, manghuhula. <laughs> yeah. So, ano, anong mga tingin mo, Sir Boots? Well, so, sa akin nakikita ko kasi yung uh, entrepreneur, nakikita ko yan, kung talagang passionate siya. Yung bang, uh, so, uh, alam niya yung gustong-gusto niya, alam niya na yung direction niya. Nandun yung goal niya, no? Na kahit may hirap, may obstacle, na dadaanan niya yan, napapaikutan niya yan, no? Para bang, Uh, naka-focus siya hindi yung hindi yung nagkakalat hindi yung iba-ibang uh-huh. negosyo pinapasok iba-iba no so uh, yun number two uh, very committed siya in other words tinitingnan niya agad ano yung mga possibilities of how to grow uh, yun ang yun ang importante na hindi yung uh, kasi may mga entrepreneur kasi pag na, na, na stuck na sa problema stuck up na doon no yeah. ay na gumalaw in other words uh, babangon hindi na mm-hmm. no uh, like for example kung logistics ang problema mo ang parati nila sasabihin may mga may mga opportunities ngayon no so uh, those are one of the, nakikita ko they're very passionate they think outside the box they're very innovative uh, at the same time they think of others not themselves no Uh, hindi sila nag-iisip muna yung bang uh, okay mag expand tayo dito sa ganitong lugar dapat maglagay muna tayo ng support system dapat maglagay muna tayo ng uh, commissary mm-hmm. kasi nga uh, masyadong malayo mm-hmm. no so mm-hmm. tinitingnan din nila yung cost factor no mm-hmm. kasi nga pag masyadong malaki ang cost factor kawawa rin yung franchisee mm-hmm. no so at same time ano ba yung uh, maintaining the the profitability mm-hmm. kasi mm-hmm. sa franchising uh, dapat titingnan mo yung ROI Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yung return of investment. Eto maganda no sa franchising. Napapag-aralan mo na yung uh, yung return of investment before you even invest. So, saan ka nakakita ng negosyo na hindi ka pa nagbibigay ng kahit isang sentimo. <laughs> and yet nakikita mo na kung anong projection mo yeah. dahil meron kang binabasihan, yes. 'di ba? Yes. So, uh, sa franchising, parating ko sinasabi na kung yung bintaon niyan, ang term na renewable pa yan, eh one and a half to two years yan. Mm. payback. Mm-hmm. In other words, yung bino, yung ininvest mo, babalik yan sa'yo. Mm-hmm. No? But no guarantee. Mm-hmm. No guarantee yes. yan. No? Yes. Uh, pero kung halimbawa, ang investment mo ay out of five years, ay four years kang babawi at isang taon lang yung tutubo mo, ay hindi pwede. <laughs> delikado yun. Delikado. <laughs> may, mga, may mga unexpected. Yes, eh. yes. Uh, parati kong nilalagyan ng element of unexpected. No? Yes. Kasi nga, meron tayo, kagaya ng undoy, di ba? Mm-hmm. Na undoy tayo. Kawawa naman yung mga mm-hmm. franchisors, mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. franchisee. Mm-hmm. So, isa yan sa mga nakikita ko. Uh, very dynamic sila mag-isip. No? Para bang uh, the world is always revolving around them. Para bang excite, mm-hmm. excited. Yung mga good franchise. So, para bang hindi sila naman problema eh. Pwede ba ko eh? Para bang nakangiti? Kagaya ni Jerry, eh, no? Para natin nakangiti. <laughs> <laughs> so, ganun yon, Ganun ang ano doon, no? Uh, tsaka maraming opportunities ngayon. Uh, like, for example, uh, na I think, alam mo si John Chung, no? Yes. Ng Aqua Swiss, ha? Yes, Yan, ha? Exactly. Congratulations. Uh, Aqua Swiss po ay pupunta na ko yun sa June 15 sa Camarillo Premium Outlets sa uh, California. Yes. Uh, unang-una niyang brand sa Amerika. No? So, Pilipino yan. Yes, no? congrats. Pilipino yan, congrats, no? Sir John. Uh, so, yan eh. Walang takot sila. They don't fear na uh, ayoko hanggang Pilipinas lang yes. ako. Ayoko hanggang Manila uh-huh. lang ako. Uh-huh. No, they're willing to go outside and explore. Uh-huh. No? And ang maganda nito, Sir Boots, no? kasi... Um, tayo mga Pilipino, minsan may ano tayo eh, inferiority in a way compared oh. to, to <laughs> yung mga ibang bansa. Yes, diba? yes. So, ngayon, parang more and more Filipino brands are getting known uh, or expanding, di ba? Yeah. Uh, in other countries. Si Potato Corner, di ba? Yes. Ang dami ng ano, US and um, Indonesia po. Australia, Indonesia. Yeah. Yun. So, mm. yan, si Sir John is also expanding. Uh, one of the Um, brands din na tinulungan mo, Sir Boots, yes, si uh, Belgian? Si ba? Belgian Waffle, famous Belgian Waffle is now in San Diego mm-hmm. uh, under famous Waffwich, no? Uh, and then, um, si Fior Gelato, no? Gelato, uh, Sir Richie. Sa mga kasama natin yan. Yes. Eh, pupunta ni Renos America yan sa Cerritos, no? Yes. So, uh, now is the time na Filipino brands are growing global, no? Uh, even in Dubai, no? Mm. Dubai, may mga lumalago, lumalago na dyan, no? 
So this is it. Yes. Uh, ito na yun. <laughs> yun uh, yung, boundar- yung boundaries na wawala na talaga. Global market na siya. Global brand. Yes. Um, si Ellie. Hi Ellie. Sabi niya, Sir Boots and Sir Jerry. Tapos contact details niyo daw po. Yan. We'll provide the contact details of Sir Boots. Um, or gusto mong bigay na Sir Boots? Yeah, sure. Uh, para matype natin. Oh. Uh, you can uh, email me at aob at gmb msglobal.com uh, or you can text me at 0917-816-9608 okay yeah. so we're posting that those numbers and yeah. contact details is Sir Boots tapos yeah. si Angel din gusto magpa-consult um, so yun you can get in touch with Sir Boots okay mm-hmm. um, tapos yung ano mo Sir Boots um, you you Um, authored several books. Yes. Tapos ngayon, uh, dati nabasa ko si yeah. Ice Franchising for You. Very, yeah. very helpful yeah. na book. Uh, Ang dami niyong matututunan. Maybe you want to discuss that? Yeah. Also yung, yung libro na yun, Ice Franchising for You, is already has gotten a revision na 2017. Dahil uh, since 2012, uh, nung nilabas ko yan, marami ng uh, pagbabago at uh, a lot of universities are using that wow. as their reference. No? Uh, nagulat nga ako eh. No? <laughs> Uh, maraming yun mga 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 estudyante no na nagpapirma sa akin nagpa-autograph dahil binili raw nila iba-ibang university Cavite, Lahat Metro Manila. Uh, at the same time it has gone no even in Monaco um mm. yan po ay uh, marami ring bumili at iba nga nagpat nag-translate na yan no. Wow. So uh, <laughs> kaya nga this Are book, showing the book? Uh, Um, it's franchising, franchising for, you. for you. Actually, ano yan eh, it's a product of my accident eh. <laughs> An accident, no? Kasi nga, na-accidente ako noon, 2012. At uh, ako ay sabi nga ng doktor, hindi na ako pwede maglakad ng normal, hindi na ako pwede magbigay ng seminar. So, nabigyan ako ng biyaya na magkaroon ng gift of writing. And I started writing that book, It's Franchising for You, no? Mm-hmm. Yan pong libro na yan eh, has uh, won the Book of the Year Award. Wow. Uh, 2012, no? Na hindi ko akalain na yan ay magkakaroon ng such award, no? Ang aim ko dyan po ay para tumulong doon sa mga mga naghahanap ng mga franchise or yung gusto mong franchise, matuto talaga kung ano talaga ang papasukin nila. Ito po ay written for franchise franchising for Filipinos, no? Uh, ngayon po, libro na yan ay uh, hindi na available sa National Bookstore but available na po yan sa Lazada. Wow! Okay, so, they so, can order online po? Oo, oh, online na. So, Dati kasi ako pa nag impake no? <laughs> <laughs> Ako pa nagpapadala, eh, no? So, medyo mal- mahirap-hirap na ngayon ang buhay, no? So, Lazada na lang, ho, yes. at uh, online, no? At uh, yung isang libro ko nga rin, um, nilabas ko rin yan, ay uh, um, Nowhere But Nowhere Up. Nowhere But Up, yeah. Uh, yan po ay isang inspirational book na I've written for so long about entrepreneurs who are looking at business, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi nga, minsan, as an entrepreneur, you're not always up, eh. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're down. Mm-hmm. And when you're down, you always have to look up yes, no, for your success. Yes, no? yes. So, marami ako dyan. May mga tips ako dyan about getting into partnership, uh, talking about uh, getting into family business. Mm-hmm. So, this book is also available in Lazada. Yes, no? wow. At uh, meron akong isang libro na nasa Amazon, exclusive Amazon, uh, dot com, 35 Tips on Business. No? Mm-hmm. So, yan ay eh, available in ebook at hard book. Wow. sa Amazon.com. Okay. Yun, so, please check out yung mga books ni Sir Boots uh, is franchising for you. So, very uh, handy and very informative. Um, yun, uh, it's available in Lazada. Tapos, nowhere but up Uh, more on inspiration. Yes, yes. Tapos sa uh, Vinny Richard, salamat po sa book. So, isa sa, sa mga bumili sa books na no? pumunta ako ng Singapore. Ah, okay. Ayan, yung dinala akong book. So, yan. Salamat, Ubus Richard. Ubus na, no? <laughs> uh, si Jean, sabi niya, sir, is very inspire- inspiring. Keep up the good works. Ayan. Welcome, yes. welcome, Jean. Um, siguro, sir, books, ano, um, advice mo dun sa mga, ano, dun sa mga... Siguro before that, ano yung mga common mistakes naman na nakikita mo sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs? Um, I think they're very impulsive, no? Very impulsive, meaning um, they want their money immediately to grow. Uh, kasi sayang rin man, no? Yes. Uh, imbis na ilagay sa banko. But they never think about twice or thrice. Number two, they think of partnership as they don't, they don't think of partnership seriously 
Alam mo kasi maraming partners, best of friends, nagiging best of enemies, no? Yes. So, uh, yes. minsan, mga magkakaibigan kayo sa trabaho, na gusto magnegosyo, pag-isipan, pag-usapan, at isulat ang mga yes. agreement, no? Yes. Kasi, ayoko yung, minsan, eh, magkakapatid pa nga, eh, no? Nag-aaway dahil sa negosyo, no? So, uh, don't be irrational. Think about what are the good win-win scenario. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also think what is the long-term business that you can uh, make your children get involved. Mm. Kasi nga, etong negosyo nito, hindi naman para sa iyo eh. Yes. Para rin sa pamilya mo. Yes. At the same time, you enjoy it. no? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, get your family to be with you. Mm. Yun ang maganda doon. Kasi nga, getting into business and sacrificing your family is not a good way. Yeah. no? Para bang, uh, bakit ka pa nagnegosyo kung uh, nakalimutan yung pamilya mo? At the same time, your health. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, ako, yun ang isang ina-advise ko ngayon sa mga entrepreneur. Always, for, don't forget to take care of your health. No? Uh, health is so precious, health is wise, health is wealth, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi nga, aanoy mo ang negosyo, aanoy mo yung pera kung yeah. parati ka naman sakit yeah. at uh, ginasos mo lang sa pagpapagamot, pagpapagamot. no? Yeah. So, um, yun ang ano doon, no? At the same time, think Filipino, that the Filipino brands will grow. Filipino brands are now going global, no? So, sa, sa akin, wherever you are, whether in Bahrain, whether in Dubai, think that a Filipino brand will just be there soon. Mm. No? Uh, para nga sa Amerika, yung mga ina-advise ko, nagugulat sila, biglang, uy, meron po tito corner dito, uy, meron ganito. Sabi ko sa inyo eh, lalaki <laughs> Filipino brand eh. Yeah. Di ba? And so, si, si, si John din po nag-message sa akin uh, last time sa um, announcement na si Potato Corner is going to Singapore. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Uh, kagaya ng brother ko sa Texas nga nagulat siya nagpadala ng Viber eh. sabi niya kuya nandito na sa neighborhood ko so sabi siya ay manibala eh akala kasi nila mga tao pag Pilipino hindi lalaki ay hindi nila na alam ang gagaling ng mga Pilipino di ba amen yan so kailangan yan. ano kailangan tiwala di ba kasi sayang yung mar- magaling tayong mga Pilipino kaya lang yun minsan hindi natin pinagkakatiwala yung sarili natin so hmm. sayang sayang um, may nagtext na agad sa akin <laughs> yeah, so oh. one of the siguro ay manonood. Oh, thank you. Um, sabi ni Jay, such informative talk. Thank you Jay, tapos si Rose, thank you daw. Um, uh, yun, again, this is Lipreneur Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights, comment lang po kayo ng insights sa comment section. Okay, insights in the comment section para we'll be able to notify you 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights. And share nyo na rin yung page na to para dun sa mga bagong ano pala ang dating. So share nyo yung page na to para more people will be able to uh, watch this. Okay? Um, siguro, Sir Boots, ano, um, yun, ad, as last na, to, uh, bilis ng oras, one up lang. <laughs> <laughs> dami natin na pag-usapan. Kulang pa nga. Eh. <laughs> uh, sabi ni Leo din, we appreciate your passion helping the entrepreneurs. We'll catch up with you whenever possible. Yes. Yan. So, yes. salamat, Leo. Um, tapos si Artili, sabi niya, it's worth listening. Salamat, Artili. Um, contact details daw ulit. Sige, we'll post, we'll post Alex. Okay? Um, last siguro, mm. Sir Boots, na gusto kong tanongin. Advice for, ano, for aspiring entrepreneurs. Marami ngayon, dati nga, sabi ko when I was starting the business uh, engage, to, to, to engage in the business nung early 2000 sobrang ano pa yon parang bibihira yung gusto magnegosyo pero ngayon ang daming gusto magnegosyo alam mo so, ngayon age is not a, a problem eh ang dami kong mga batang nakikita nagnegosyo uh, regardless no tsaka it's regardless whether they 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 failed. Alam mo sa akin, failure is a, just a wake up call. Eh. Yeah. Uh, marami ako nakita diyan na mga maraming nadapa, tumayo ulit, no? Because they're dynamic, they can think wise, no? Na ang negosyo ngayon, nandiyan lang 'yan, no? Mm. All you have to do is look at look around. Uh, sharpen your senses, no? Uh, don't don't waste your time. Time is so precious, no? Uh, marami dyan. Alos, ako ngayon, alos 24 hours, umiikot ang mundo. Eh, no? Maraming opportunities makikita ka dyan. All you have to do is jot it down. Alam mo, parati kong advice sa mga entrepreneurs, have a small notebook, have a ball pen, write down your notes. Yes. Write down your notes. <laughs> yan, Jerry, ikaw. Eh, right? Tsaka every week, nire-review yan. No? Nire-review yan. Kasi uh, ideas strike anytime. Alam mo, ang isa nga eh, alas 12 ng gabi, ala una, alas 12 ng gabi, eh, umaga, merong idea, write it down. no? Because you never know, it hits you. I always tell, gut feel is always there. No? Kaya nga, ang pagiging entrepreneur, uh, it's not instant. 
there's no instant noodle eh. Mm. Ay, it takes mm. time. Little success, once you put it together, it becomes a big success. Mm. No? So uh, don't 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 be ano, don't don't say ay wala nang pag-asa, ay wala nang ano uh, or walang kapital, mm. no? Mm-hmm. Ang kapital nandiyan lang, no? Uh, kagaya nga ni Injap, 2,000 piso, pero ba yun, no? I mean, seven, <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> nagulat nga ako, 2,000 piso. Tapos, sabi ko, wala kang 2,000 ngayon. Ako, Diyos ko naman, pwede mo nang pang, di ba? Pwede mo nang pang negosyo yan, eh. Marami Kira yan. Na, um, all you have to do is be innovative. Uh, think it is possible, no? I am possible. Yun ang ano doon. Galing! Wow! I'm sure na yun. Sobrang <laughs> full of insights and ano ideas ang na-share sa atin ni Sir Boots. Thank you so much, thank Sir you, Boots. Thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. Sobrang thank ano, you. Uh, full of yun, insights and I'm sure yun, ang daming nag- nag-comment na ano, na thank you for sharing your expertise, sabi ni Joe din. Um, okay. Tapos si Chris, sabi niya, thank you, Sir Boots. Sarap, um, Kahit naka-duty daw, sarap makinig. Okay lang. <laughs> Yan. Invite ng Sir Boots. Ah, yeah, also, ano? I have my uh, Instagram. In case you, you are looking for some uh, inspiration, go for Instagram, Fran Guru. That's my Instagram. I regularly post there. Uh, I have my page, uh, Armando Bartolome, uh, Phil Fran Guru. No? Uh, uh, that's my Facebook. No? And uh, I write my column every Saturday in ABS-CBN abscvnews.com every Saturday under Business Mentor for the last six years. no So, wow. uh, para bang, uh, I never get tired of writing because I want to create and more inspire more people. no uh, Pilipinas dapat tumangat eh. Di ba? Yan ang ating uh, ano ngayon. No? So, uh, with that, uh, let's all pray. no Sa akin, no matter how much you know, but if you don't have faith, eh, wala rin. No? Sa akin, yan ang na-realize ko when I, when I when I returned to the country, I thought I can do it, everything, but I never realized I have to have a connection up there. So always have faith uh, because God never sleeps at all. Okay? Yes. Salamat. Uh, si Kyril, sabi niya, thank you, Sir Boots. Si Fres, yan, from UAE. Si Jean, your enthusiasm daw uh, is so contagious. God bless daw. <laughs> <laughs> si Josephine, uh, Sir Boots, Sir Jerry, ganda ng sharings niyo. Thank you. Watching from SG. Welcome, welcome, uh, Josephine. Si Marge, ay si Fres, thank you daw. Alex, salamat po. And si Angel, may bayad ba consultation? Um, Pag-email, wala. O, oh, yun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, talk to Sir Boots na lang. Tapos, si Belson, thank you so much, sir. Yon. Welcome, uh, everyone. And I hope yon, uh, you've learned a lot from this session. Sabi ko nga, ayan, gami nating ideas and insights, experiences na nakuha uh, from Sir Boots. He has uh, 25 years pa, Sir Boots? 25 years na, 25 this July. Years. And he has helped so, so many brands. Mm. Sabi ko na si Mang Inasal, Julie's Bake Shop, uh, Baliwag, yan, for Gelato, etc. So, yan, ang dami talagang uh, masishare ni Sir Boots. Now, um, please follow Sir Boots. Uh, Fran Guru, sinabi niya yung um, contact details niya. Um, if you want to get in touch with with him, yon, uh, please get in touch with him. Um, tapos, uh, this is Lipreneur Insights. Yon. Um, we do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. Okay, so ulitin ko lang, if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights, comment lang kayo ng insights. Okay, in the comment section. And again, thank you so much for uh, watching the 68th episode ng Lipinor Insights. Thank you for always being here every Monday. So, as I always say, you are not limited by your current status in life. So, you want to start your own business? Come on! Let's make it happen. Bye, everyone!